Errol Spence eye conspiracy fake injuries that keep popping up over the internet. And there's a YouTube channel that liked this. So I'm doing a follow up video. I'm updating. I'll let you know what's going on in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys throw a like on the video. It goes a long way when you guys do that. Now, ironically enough, you know, I'm going to give you guys a brief backstory as to this video. I made a video. Check out my last video. You really should stop by that first. And just I'm just going to cover the cliff notes. So watch that video first. I'll try to put it in the description or at a card at the end of this video so you know what's going on. Long story short, I keep seeing this Errol Spence conspiracy theory pop up suggesting that Errol Spence pulled out or, you know, there's some kind of, um, I don't even know what you want to call it, some kind of inconsistency with his story regarding his eye. Is he really injured? You know, he pulled out the Pacquiao fight. He's never, to my knowledge, pulled out of a fight, especially a major fight, Kell Brook, Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter, etc. And for whatever reason, this fighter, Errol Spence, a black fighter, an Olympian, an undefeated fighter, a guy who bounced back from a heinous car accident, things like that, still fought a Danny Garcia when it would have been perfectly fine for him to take a tune-up fight. He didn't do that, right? But for whatever reason, Bernard Hopkins and people within the boxing world have pegged Errol Spence as the bad guy. And I think it's a lot of misguided anger because the substitute opponent, your Dennis Ugas, end up beating Pacquiao as well. So there's a lot of hatred for Errol Spence and a lot of people are mad because he ended up losing to somebody who was even less known than Errol Spence. And now people are calling for Pacquiao's retirement, you know, and again, Errol being a black fighter, this is what he's up against. Now, Errol Spence retweeted my post. I talked about in the last video. You guys can check it before I get into that. This is a post unrelated to the whole video that coincidentally I posted and it's so true. And it's even more true for this. And I'll explain why I'm doing this video. I said boxing is the only sport where many of the fans and people in it genuinely are not here to help the sport grow and thrive. Instead, it's full of negative, toxic, killjoy people hell bent on voicing their horribly bad takes, double standards, and being some type of antagonist villain. Hashtag ego. I posted this. So. Errol Spence seen my tweet. This is his verified page. And basically, in a now, ever since I made the video and I called it out specifically, which is what Errol Spence seen, you know, it got to him and retweeted. There was somebody who posted this picture and it's basically accusing Errol Spence of being fraudulent and lying. It says, which I had surgery. And then it tagged a bunch of, you know, people in boxing because one picture, it appears like it's on his left eye and in one picture, it appears. I've already went over this. I have a whole separate dedicated video. Errol Spence has an Adidas shirt. The Adidas is backward and transverse because he's clearly using a selfie cam. So it's a mirrored flipped image, right? So the person in real time, in real life, that was standing next to him, this doctor, would really be on the other side and the Adidas would be spelled from left to right however he has the instead of the front facing camera he's looks like he's holding the camera with the selfie camera which if you haven't changed the setting on iphone is going to be a mirrored image right it's a toggle on and off very simple to understand people seen this post that errol spence posted and they're like aha we caught him you know the patches on the other eye ha 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 and it's like what type of world do we live in where everyone thinks they're forensic files and sleuthy and they want to uncover like this mystery. It just, it sounds so bizarre. It's such, it's so low and it's so stupid. It's just sad that some people are really running with this. Like, first of all, Errol Spence, you think he's dumb enough to put out publicly that his left eye was damaged. And then if he's faking it, He's not smart enough to have the patch put on the right eye that's consistent with the story. I mean, come on. This is like something uh, a preschooler could figure out. So I commented on it. You see right there, Errol Spence retweeted it. He's seen it. You know, I said, you dudes are idiots. 
who can't tell the difference between a front facing camera pick and a selfie camera mode shaking my head and it says marcos with fight hub right liked it but he works with premier boxing champs pbc come on do better ever since i posted and called people out and said it didn't make sense then right after i made a video digital mob now they deleted the picture but guess what the evidence is all there and no matter what you say this is fight hub he says that's why i stated on my live and twitter that i didn't believe any of the bs conspiracy theories stop trying to create something that isn't there for clicks now one thing that nobody in the whole sport of boxing is going to do is slander my name this member of the media with a youtube channel the reason why i made the tweet as i've told you in my last video is because this was mind-boggling that somebody would seemingly co-sign and they work for pbc premier boxing champions as the unofficial score the same company fox that was to host the errol spence pacquiao fight right and you don't is you're making it seem I, I just showed you the pictures you're made by liking it you're making it seem and now they've deleted it after they've been called out by your boy ego you make it seem as if you were in agreement to that why would you see something that's complete bs and then like it if you didn't really like it or share those same sentiments it does it's it's a bad look it's a bad take now again i refuse to let anybody in this boxing game throw smut on my name this man says stop trying to create something that isn't there for clicks but i've already exposed you you're mad because errol spence seen it exhibit a that's the post liked by the founder of fight hub pbc on fox unofficial score this is not no conspiracy theory how is it a conspiracy theory if i'm showing you the post listen i'm 10 steps ahead of everybody in boxing you like this post you co-sign your co look at these are all people co-signing you see this dude with the american and the mexico flag you marcos with american mexican flag and you are the pbc on fox the same imprint that was supposed to host this errol spence fight there's been no information that suggests anything why would you even like this right here's an alternate angle it says which i had surgery right questioning errol spence this is exactly what bernard hopkins did you can't backpedal now this is the founder his name is right there you're not gonna stain my name you should have just said oh yeah that was probably in, in poor taste but instead what this man did he chose to unfollow me i have no problem with that but he was following me i called him out rightfully so he unfollowed me he didn't reach out to me he didn't say anything to me but then he ran to errol spence when he seen errol spence when it got traction and errol spence retweeted it posting this calling it a conspiracy theory it's not a conspiracy theory when we're sh i'm showing that you were a participant you were in concert with this particular tweet that's challenging this black american olympian who's giving you no reason to believe that he is not a warrior in the sport of boxing there is no information out there that would disprove what errol spence and his team and pbc have put out and you work for pbc and this is you're liking random people on twitter who are basically tweeting all these people and then when i call them out when it takes for me to call them out and then now you, now the tweet gets deleted but we already have the proof the last video go watch that there's a literal screen recording here's screenshots don't this like he's saying it's a conspiracy like i'm just trying to get clicks you're not gonna play me like that you're not gonna do that and again the choice words of conspiracy theory you you did what i said you did in in my tweet marcos he just i just showed you he worked for pbc unofficial score you're the founder of fight hub on youtube 
and you're out here liking posts that are insinuating that Errol Spence is a fraud, just like Bernard Hopkins did. And again, this man has given us no reason to believe that. So I think it's important that we as boxing fans and the boxers and the trainers take a stand. This man, this is deeper than boxing. He could lose his vision if all doesn't go well. You know what I mean? And the thing is, boxers already risk their life each and every time they lace up or even spar, to be honest, right? Even with headgear, right? And to undermine what they go through and constantly chastise boxers in events like this, especially unwarranted, is wrong and is foul. And it happens. We see this snaky behavior. This man is Harvey Dent, two-faced. We see this snaky behavior because Errol Spence and Derek James are gracious enough to provide interviews to YouTubers that reach out to him, him included, the, the founder of this particular YouTube included. This is not a conspiracy theory. I'm showing that you are a participant here. And again, the reason this I felt this needed to be addressed, which is what I did and which I'll continue to do, is because you know what you're doing is wrong. This is why the tweet got deleted. And this is why when you seen Errol Spence retweeted my tweet and he got his eyes on it, then you went and tried to cop a plea with him talking about it's a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy when I'm throwing when I'm showing you that you participate. They can delete it all they want. I'm showing you right here. You know what I mean? And I think the fighters, you know, he has a ranch and three kids or whatever. He got other stuff to do. So the the thing is, this happens more often than you think. And I might just I might just keep exposing people in boxing because this this is the type of behavior. These fighters are cool as day. Like fighters are are by far the coolest athletes I've ever met. And I've met people from the NFL, the NBA. I met Rudy Gay and, you know, different people like that. And, you know, no knock on any of them guys. Boxers are by far the most chill with their time, with their energy. Like, you, you talk to a boxer, they might not, no matter what their schedule is, they got to train for three hours, but they'll give you, if, the, if, if time permits, they'll give you an hour of their time, 30-minute interview. You see what I'm saying? And these boxers are end up getting used by snaky YouTubers who really don't have their best interests. Why would you condone, you know, it just mind is mind boggling. Why would you condone any you? Why would you work for PBC premier boxing champions and be condoning under that umbrella? A, a random post from a, a Twitter person liking the post, which is basically accusing Errol Spence of being a coward. Like Bernard Hopkins was saying, it's accusing him of ducking the Pacquiao fight. In these different type of narratives, I told you guys, old media is down bad. They are down bad, and it's like people are trying so hard to desperately, um, desperately find an answer or someone to blame for Pacquiao's loss to Ugas. The man lost. He's a legend. It could just be that. But to undermine Errol Spence and then make it look like he was too coward and you know be mad because the plans got messed up. It's life. The stars in line for Ugas to get the fight. But Errol Spence, for me personally, hasn't showed me any reason to doubt that he got too nuts when it comes to this boxing game. So when you have a YouTuber who is trying to get Errol Spence and Derek James's time, but then he's also seemingly co-signing by liking these character assassinations. Yeah, I have a problem with that. I have a problem. I don't care who's who gets what interview. That's never been my thing. But I do have integrity and right is right. Wrong is wrong. These are people in, in the black, it, the black fighter, particularly black athletes are criminally disrespected in the world of of boxing specifically. You know, what I mean, where it's like you see him, everything's all hunky dory. And like, oh, yeah. What's up, Errol? What's up, Charlo? And everybody's all, you know. Everything's peaches and cream, but behind the scenes on a Twitter, on a Instagram, you know, on a YouTube video in the media room, when it's just other media and the fighters are nowhere, these fighters are being talked bad about. They wishing bad. You see why Deontay Wilder is moving like he's moving. You know what I mean? And 
said two words to the media because he understood when he lost to Tyson Fury, he understood. He seen who was in his corner. You know what I mean? And I'm always going to be a stickler for what's real and what's right. And that's what my channel has been founded on. Um, at the end of the day, these fighters and trainers, they need to be hip to who's who's really rocking, who's really rocking with the brand, trying to help. I'm not saying you have to kiss ass because I don't do that either. You know what I mean? You don't have to do that. But you have to be fair. Errol Spence, again, he's given us no reason to doubt him. Why would we do it? Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. But I had to address the issue. You know, at the end of the day, we'll see. But um, it's just wrong what some of boxing media does. And they're like leeches. They'll talk bad about Broner, say he's finished and, you know, say this and that. And he's ignorant or whoever the person is. And then when they see him, they chasing him down for an interview. You know, if you don't like this person, why, like, why, why are you on their nuts when you see him? Come on, man.